Uh, spring is in the air. We're starting to see all the local trails for hiking and mountain biking around Eagle County clearing up earlier than planned this year because of the nice weather, um, a nice weather in the forecast. It's time for your information about Adopted Trail. And joining us in the studio right now, your Adopted Trail coordinator, Michelle Wolf. Michelle, how are you? Great. Thanks nice for having me. Nice to see you. And then Aaron Mayville, the District Ranger for Holy... Eagle, Holy Cross, Ranger District, White River National Forest. I love saying that. Every whole thing. In, like, I, I just love saying it. The whole thing. Nice to see you. Good <laughs> to see you, too, you Mark. Thanks, you too. thanks for being here today. Thank you. How have you both been? Good? Great, thanks. Yeah. Happy for spring. I know. Very happy for spring. Adopted Trail. This yeah. started last year. Yes. Uh, we talked a lot with Aaron last year and mm -hmm. yourself on TV8 about um, this new program. Now it's in a year's time. It's been around for a year. And you're starting the program earlier this year because mm -hmm. you can. Right. Let's talk about last year's turn out first, how it, all, how it all worked for you guys? Oh, it was a great kickoff season for us. We actually got 29 trails adopted. and uh, Out of how many trails? Well, actually pretty much anyone that showed up last year got a trail. And oh, we just, really? we wanted to cut the line off at 20 and then we got really excited and it just kept happening. And so we ended up giving everyone a trail. There's a lot of people that support it and yeah. that use the trails for numerous reasons and they wanna, they wanna pay it back and make it better for themselves oh, and for, for sure. everybody else moving forward, right? Yeah, people, this community just is very passionate about the trail system and wanna support it. So this is a great way to do that. So Aaron, when we talk about adopt a trail, how does that work? I mean, people can show up and, and pick a trail and they just manage it over the course of the summertime? That's right, yeah, we ask for three, um, three dedicated days of trail maintenance um, per season and um, a group of about four. Um, we like to have an actual organized group put together to do this. And, um, yep, there's some photos of, of some of the great groups we had volunteering last year. And these are hiking and biking trails, mixed trails, mixed-use trails? That's Equestrian, right. Equestrian, everything, yeah. Oh, equestrian trails, too. Sure. Yeah, and actually, on, on that, you know, we want to make sure to shout out to the Vail Valley Mountain Bike Association, a great partner, um, instrumental in kicking this off last year and keeping it going. And um, it's just a testament to them. They're, you know, they're a mountain bike group. Um, but kick off this, this adopt trail program that is all kind of trails, all okay. mixed use, you know, not just mountain biking. And when you say three full days throughout the course of the summer, mm -hmm. does that mean you can, can you do a half a day on a day? Can you do a half a day here, a couple hours oh, here? Sure. Or you just want to go do three full days and cover the whole trail? It's whatever each team okay. decides, but okay. really we say like maybe two to four hours out on the trail counts as your day. It's I mean, really, you're day. out there just cleaning up big rocks that may have fallen in the trail, any loose anything, any branches, anything like that, just basically just tidying up the trail so it's safe for people. Yep, it's pretty simple maintenance. It's brush clearing, yep. um, you know, uh, yeah, rock removal, um, cleaning out some water bars on the trail. And then we also, as part of the program, have a, a training, um, a training seminar at the beginning of the season to kind of okay. teach people how to do this. So if you're not familiar with trail maintenance, that's okay. Um, come out, we'll, we'll show you what to do. And then we do have the experience group, right? They've done this last year, the very experienced group. <laughs> Um, but we are asking the sophomore, the the sophomore, sophomore team. team. Yeah. And those people would be welcome to go out on their own, you know, provided oh. we do offer supervision if people want it. And the right. biggest difference between last year and this year is the fact that um, last year it was all U.S. forest trails. This year we're doing town trails or public land. So oh, we're great. bringing in town of Avon, town of Eagle, uh, and Minturn. So That's great. we're getting quite a bit of, you know, a little more expansion. So the direction. big party is at the Dusty Boot in Beaver Creek from 6 to 8. Yep, next um, that's going to be next Monday. Mm -hmm. April 10th. And this is where you can go and sign up, adopt a trail. Let's get a double turnout. Let's have twice as many people turn out this year as so you have to turn people away. I think that'd be great, whatever. Yeah. Michelle, good to see you. Thanks. Yeah, thanks so much. Aaron, Thank good you to see you as you always. You Once again, adopt a trail, the big party in Beaver Creek at the Beaver Creek Chop House this Monday from 6 to 8. We're going to take it to Megan next live. She's got to look at that weather forecast.